Hi, fam. Um, I was looking at, and I'm sure you guys already know about this. I was looking at the internet and hearing that this cruel prank that someone played on a particular hospital, or I will say facility, I should say, um, in London regarding um, Princess Kate. And I know a lot of people are, I don't know, not familiar or aware of medical issues and, and HIPAA and all that stuff. I'm in the medical field slash healthcare. So I'm pretty um, aware. And I think the prank that was pulled was very juvenile and it was mean. Um, a lot of people are saying that, oh my goodness, why would you kill yourself? In the medical field, just to give you a tidbit, because this, this kind of, it, it hurts me to know that this lady, um, she, she killed herself over this situation. And I feel really bad for her, you know, her family. Um, a lot of people are like, why would you kill yourself? When you work in a medical field, we are sanctioned for the slightest things. And it sounds as if this particular facility did not have any kind of directives in order or in place if an official is uh, admitted. This is no different if here in the States, if First Lady um, Obama came into a hospital and someone called, your first reaction, you're going to be a bit scared. You're going to be like, hey, thank you for contacting I'm sorry, who? You're gonna be a you're gonna be scared. I, I I don't like when people say, I wouldn't have dared did nothing like that. I wouldn't have hurt myself. I can't you don't know what that person is going through. You never know how they ridiculed her after the fact. You don't know how many threats she could have got. You don't know how HIPAA came to her and probably said, We're gonna let you go. You don't know how this affects her livelihood. She could have said, the hospital could have said, oh, you messed up. So guess what we're going to do to you? We're just going to let you go. And now you can't, you can't just afford anything. You never know. Like I said, HIPAA is strict. We are unable to solicit or give out any kind of information in regard to uh, a patient. And it could be something as slight as if you contact my station, I can't say, you know, you ask me, well, is Michelle Obama there today? I know by law, I do not supposed to give that information out. No, no one is privy to that info. But if I think that's Barack Obama on the phone asking me for his wife's info, I'm going to probably say, hold on, please. So she was really, honestly, she was doomed either way. If she didn't give the info and it was really someone that was um, important, meaning that it really was the queen. She could have got in trouble for that. And then if it wasn't the queen and she gave information, would have got in trouble for that. Laws are laws across the board. You don't supposed to give out any kind of information. I'm not sure of all the information that was given out at the time of the call, but I still feel that why would you want to play a prank on someone like that? That's not cute, nor is it funny. I wouldn't have found any kind of humor out of that because we're talking about someone's life here not just the nurse's life we're talking about our patient's life we have to take an oath when we go into the medical field just as the doctor is supposed to save a life regardless of how they feel towards that patient that nurse has that same obligation so to say that oh the she's crazy for doing what she did no she's not she was under pressure until you're able to work in that same field or work in that same uh area don't tell me what she should and should not have done. Now, I my heart goes out to her family for the lost. Christmas is coming. Her children is out of a mom. Her husband is out of a wife. Her family, her sisters, brothers is out of a sibling. Her parents is possibly, if her parents are still here, is out of a child. They're, she's gone. And I know she had to be ridiculed about it because, again, I, I work in the industry. I know how they are. And they will sit there and run you ragged. So 
I just had to get my little my thought about that since I'm connected to uh, social cam and YouTube and everybody else's tube and and people have you know they're like oh she's crazy for she's not crazy for that and that was a mean prank and I don't feel that she should be taking calls to a hospital asking for stuff like that play with this corner store play with the with that don't play on a level of asking about the the freaking princess of Wales of duchess duchess of something whatever it is like I said if first family if my first family came into my hospital uh, guess what I'm going to be stuttering too like uh, th 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 maybe no one is used to having the officials come to their hospital no one ever thought about that you never thought about maybe this was new maybe she could have been working there for the four years but that doesn't mean that she knew like oh my god if Kate comes in here what should I do we not saying this was Cedar Sinai in California. We know all the stars go there. But what about if I'm talking about St. John's Hospital in Detroit, Michigan? Every day you don't get that. Things supposed to be put in place. That's all I'm saying. And I just feel so bad that she had to go through this and that she had to endure this and her family has to endure this. And now people are like, in a sense, criticizing her for her actions. For every action, there's a reaction. Maybe they shouldn't have played the prank. Oh! I'm going to leave it with that one. Until next time. I love you guys. Bye.